nice weather today so we're gonna film something that I hope you're gonna be interested in after washing my car for many many times I have uh, noticed that these chrome parts here here and on the, the bumpers I think this type of chrome bars here that uh, these ornaments they have uh, after you wash your car and yeah my car isn't washed now for one week I think even after I wash it you can still see this these marks here that are left from I don't know from the weather from uh, staining all um, all year long I'm gonna give you a close-up so you can see better what I'm talking about So I thought to myself, what is the best and cheap option that I, I have on my hand to repair this uh, stained part? I think this is aluminium and it's not, not plastic chrome with something. But uh, in any case, I hope I will do my best and give, give it a nice uh, shine to it. I don't like to dismantle my car, so all that we're gonna do is uh, try to repair it on the car. So for that, I search my... let me see... I searched my uh, my kits and I found my scratch repair uh, paint remover from Quicks. So the nice part about this thing is that it have it has two pastes. So the first number one, it's the repair uh, paste, and with this repair paste um, you can fill the gaps in your uh, in your uh, paint. And the most important one is the finished one. But I thought to myself, why not use it? on the aluminium parts and chrome parts on the car and see what are the results so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna try to give it a glossy finish a mirror like finish with this type of paste okay so i have here a little bit of paste and another cloth that i am gonna use okay so let's see now Take some paste from here. Oh, as a matter of uh, precaution, something that you will have to do first hand. Take out your uh, a wet cloth. This is some, it's not a um, natural deer skin. It's, an, um, it's a synthetic one. It does a really nice job of cleaning all of uh, the dust and removes all of the debris from this um, this part that we're gonna clean so you can see now even after i've cleaned it it still got this this um, these parts there okay so yeah let's uh, let's start i'll do a, a tiny part first so i put on a little bit of the paste here and now i'm gonna apply it a generous amount to have it it's better to open the door because uh, yeah you have a little bit of more clearance to use this um, paste it doesn't matter I think if you touch the the paint because this is a pretty gentle one and it won't scratch it and now uh, let's start polishing light presses circular light presses and yes as I thought with this paste you can give it a nice mirror finish to it and holy cow this this thing really works but I think I'll need a little bit more paste I wish I had some polishing tools like a buffer or a electric buffer uh, but I don't so yeah I'm gonna use my hand let me see sorry I won't take this part because it's filled with impurities now because this is all filled with dust and I'm just gonna use this for uh, continuing my... Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna... I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube on how to, to finish your uh, body parts with different type of polishing pastes but um, in some they tell you to go circular I'm not a pro at this, so this is only done in my uh, spare time. So as a quick fix to all of my uh, inesthetic problems. So I'll go circular. You can do it like this, but uh, 
I don't know if, if that's good for for the finish effect. So yeah, let's see. I'm gonna wipe this thing off. I'm gonna keep rubbing it for again. This is really hard for a little bit of time. I'm gonna wipe it and see the the end results. And yeah, I think this is aluminium. This is not plex, plastic. And mine is wobbly. I don't know what why this is wobbly. I don't know if yours are wobbly too, but it's a little bit wobbly. Does it have to be like this? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm not. Uh... Oh, now you see. You see? Now all of those stains are washed out and. Yeah, not entirely, entirely, but I'm gonna keep doing this until all of the stains are uh, are out of this chrome part. And after that, I'm gonna go like this, on um, fast forward and do all the, uh, the lateral left side. After that, I'm gonna go on the right side. So yeah, this is a clean paper towel. And with this, I really hope that um, I can clean now. Now this really does a quite a nice job to it. You see here the differences between this part and this part. It really has a shine to it. And you can still see some little bit of uh, marks here, but you cannot compare it to this part. That is why I left that paste there to see the difference. Okay, so yeah. Let's go back at it. So as I'm doing this, I see that it's, no, it's not a big difference if you go circular or go in a longitudinal way, because uh, it, it's gonna clean itself either way, you're moving your hand. So maybe some of you guys really work in the industry and you will tell, tell me, yeah, what you're doing here, it's not okay. But I didn't say I'm, I'm an expert on this. Just a quick fix for my 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 car. And uh, for some of you who don't really care to be like a detail expert or uh, don't get me wrong, I really love the guys that do details and uh, detail very carefully on uh, other people's cars and that they have um, been doing that for a lot of time I really respect them but uh, my my sector of work I can, like I said it's not in detail and um, this is on my own knowledge okay so yeah I really like how this is coming up let me clean it a little bit more So yeah, you see, yes, I'm pretty, pretty stoked about this, and I think it will gonna came out really, come out really nice. Let's give it a little more paste and go from here. I think the circular motion, even though it's harder to make, it really gives a lot of power. This polishing paste. I don't know if this is a polishing paste, but it is a two-step two kit and um, you cannot buy one without another and this kit you can find it on your Amazon or uh, eBay um, vendors pretty easily I'm gonna show you again the, the package now here if you can see it's a little bit harder to get all these stains out and uh, I really have to wipe it a little bit stronger in this area Okay, let's give it a wipe. Oh yeah, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. A little bit harder. Let me get my jacket off because I'm. Whew. And again, let's put this here. So you you may be wondering uh, why I use this uh, small uh, napkins. So this came with the kit. And uh, there are some uh, are like towel napkins. I don't know how to 
explain them to you. I I bet you have them, you have seen them on uh, other products, and they have a little texture on them, and maybe that is why they really clean so good with this uh, polishing paste. I'm not doing it with a paper towel. I'm using the paper towel just to clean the the excess off. And uh, I don't know if you, I I don't know. Maybe you can use it with a paper towel, but on the package it says use the cloth inside. Maybe you can use it on a buffer pad. I don't know, this is up to you. I just discovered this and um, yeah, they are getting out. They're getting... <laughs> this part is really getting clean. Yeah, and keep in mind that uh, this is not spe specific for BMWs because I know that a lot of cars ha have. I really hope you can hear me. A lot of cars have uh, this type of chrome parts on the exterior, and um, you can use it on any chrome finish mirror-like part that you want to restore. I will be sitting here for like I don't think like an hour to polish this entirely. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, if so leave a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel for the new videos to come. See you!